This is part 11 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss attribute binding in Angular. In our previous videos, we discussed we can use interpolation and property binding to bind component class properties to HTML element properties and not attributes. However, there are situations when we want to be able to bind to HTML element attributes and not properties. For example, call span attribute does not have a corresponding DOM property. So in a situation like this, we want to be able to bind to HTML element attributes directly. To make this happen, Angular provided attribute binding. But keep in mind, Angular recommends to use property binding when possible and use attribute binding only in situations where we don't have corresponding properties that we can bind to. Let's understand attribute binding with an example. So here is what we want to do. We want to display employee details in a table like this. Look at the employee details header. This is spanning across two columns of this table. So let's see how to set call span attribute of the th element using attribute binding provided by Angular. This is the same example that we have been working with so far in this video series. I made a slight change to this project. Within our root component, I have nested the employee component that we have built in part 6 of this video series. And here is the HTML file of our employee component which contains the employee table. Now I'm going to modify this HTML table here to include a section for T head and T body elements. So let's replace this HTML with another piece of HTML. Now notice the table element has got T head element and T body elements. Within T head, we have this TH element, and at the moment, we have hard coded the value for call span attribute to 2. In a bit, we'll see how to bind this call span attribute to a component class property. And within T body, we have several table rows to display first name, last name, gender, and age. So let's save these changes and reload our web page. Now notice we have employee details header spanning across two columns of our table but we don't have a border around t head element. So to fix this within the style sheet of our employee component let's include a style for t head element. So we have a one pixel solid black border for t head element as well. Let's save our changes and reload our web page one more time by pressing ctrl f5. Notice now we see a border around the table head element as expected. Notice at the moment we have hard coded a value for call span attribute within our HTML. Instead, let's see how to bind this call span attribute to a component class property. So within the employee component TypeScript file, let's include a property. I'm going to call it column span since we are going to use it to store a number, I have set the data type to number and we have a default value of 2. Now we want to be able to bind to this column span property. So within the HTML, let's first use interpolation and see what happens. So within our codes, let's use interpolation syntax, double curly braces and within that we have our property name column span. Let's save our changes and reload our web page. Notice it doesn't display the web page. So let's launch browser developer tools. Notice we've got an error. And if you look at the error message, it's a template parse error. And look at what the error message says. Can't bind to call span since it is not a known property of TH. Remember, at the moment we're using interpolation. Interpolation binds component class properties to DOM properties. And remember, call span attribute does not have a corresponding property in the DOM. That's the reason we get this error message, can't bind to call span since it's not a known property of TH. So to fix this, we have to use attribute binding provided by Angular. Now we are going to get the same error if we use property binding instead of interpolation. So to use attribute binding provided by Angular, we have to do one slight modification. All we have to do is prefix the attribute name with attr dot. This is how we tell Angular that we want to bind to call span attribute of the th element and not to its corresponding DOM property. So let's save our changes and reload our web page.
Notice we see employee details header as expected and within the console we don't have any errors. At the moment we are using interpolation style syntax for attribute binding. Let's use property binding style syntax instead. So within square brackets we will have our attribute name prefixed with attr dot and within quotes without double curly braces we will have our component class property name. Let's save our changes and reload this web page one more time. Notice it still works exactly the same way as before. So what is attribute binding and why did Angular provide it? Interpolation and property binding deal with binding component class properties to HTML element properties and not attributes. However, not all HTML element attributes have corresponding DOM properties. For example, call span attribute does not have a corresponding property in the DOM. So in situations like this, we want to be able to bind to HTML element attributes directly. Hence, Angular provided attribute binding. And here we have the two different ways of implementing attribute binding. Thank you for listening and have a great day.